As you recall, when we create a relationship between tables, we do that in the relationships window. The only other place you can create a relationship outside of that window is within a query and it's known as a join, but it's temporary, not permanent. And so if you want to get some information here without permanently creating a relationship, to be able to like temporarily join these two tables of matrimony, no kidding, but to join them so we can temporarily get the information that we want, we can do that. So I've got my book project table and what I want to see in my query from that table are these two fields, the part number and book title, and from the book sales, the order ID, and the total number of books sold. So the purpose of my query here is to find out of all the books that we produced and that are listed in the book project table, which ones and how many of those ones have we sold? And so I brought up my book sales table because it keeps track of all the books sold. Now to go ahead and create this join or this temporary relationship, it's just like in that relationships training video. You go ahead and you find the primary key in one field and the foreign key in another. And you can see there's the part number and part number. And it doesn't matter where you drag from as long as it's from one over on top of the other. So we can go from part number over to the part number there. Now you'll notice that they're not spelled the same and again that doesn't matter as long as it's got the same data type. But I try to keep them spelled the same or something that is close to resembling when it comes to hooking up the primary key field to the foreign key field. So I'm not like let's see part number goes to and I got something that I don't recognize in any case it's right there. So before we go ahead and create the relationship or the temporary join let's go ahead and take a look to verify that the part number in this table the book sales has the same data type as the part number the primary key field in the book project. So let's open up the book project double click there's the primary key field part number the book title and some extra information. But let's find out the data type for the part number right click on the tab go to the design view and part number short text that's the data type okay. Now to go ahead and find it in the book sales table, double click. There's the primary key field, order ID, the transaction date. Okay, there's the part number field, the foreign key field that we're going to be hooking up to the primary key field, the part number in the book project. What data type is it? You don't have to change view to the design view to find out the data type. You can stay in the data sheet view. Come up here, click on the fields tab, go to the formatting group, and there it is, the data type, short text. Okay, we got a match. And then we got the customer ID and the total number of books sold. Now, when you have a part number listed in the book sales table, that means that we sold it. Yay! And so, what's the book title for this part number? 14312H2. Okay, well, let's go to the book project because I don't have it memorized. Okay, right click and go to the data sheet view. And we got to go down to the 14312H2. Oh, okay, cooking basics for children. So, because that's listed here, again, we sold it. Yay! And have we sold that same book more than once? Well, to find out, I just have to see if I can find a duplicate here for the part number 14312. There we go, H2. And is it to the same customer? Let's see, 3155032. No, two different customers. But we sold it again. Yay! Let's go ahead and go back to the query. And before we go ahead and click and drag to create the temporary join, now that we know that they have the same data type, Let's see what it looks like without a relationship or a temporary join when we go ahead and come up here and click on the view button. Because down below, how many records do we have? Ooh, 2050. Well, that's a red flag because from the book project table, we have a total of 25. And from the book sales, we have a total of 82. So there's a red flag. Something's going on here. And then over in the order ID field, which is a primary key field, you're not supposed to have duplicates, so there's another red flag. That means that I don't have a relationship or a join. And without one, every record from one table is combined with the second table. And I don't want that. So let's go ahead and right click on the tab, go to the design view, and create that relationship. Quickly, let's go ahead and select part number, click and drag it, and put it over on top of the part number, the foreign key field, and the other. Let go. Let's click and drag, and there's your join. That's the relationship to show the linkage. Now when you create it, by default, it's going to create an inner join as opposed to an outer. Well, what's the difference between the two? Well, to find out, or to actually bring up the properties of the join, so you can change it if you want to go from an inner to an outer and have it all explained there, let's go ahead and to bring up the properties, you can either double click on the thin line, there's the join properties, or let me click cancel, you can right click on it, there's the join properties, or you can go ahead and delete the join and it's gone, but let's go ahead and click and drag and do it again. 
and let me just well right click join properties same window so let's go from top to bottom first off the left table right here the book project table has the primary key field part number linked to the foreign key field in the right table the part number which is the table book sales now you've got a total of three options here by default it's going to have the first option which is an inner join the other two are outer joins now it doesn't say this is an any and these are outies but I'll go over that in just a minute first of all let's go ahead and go over the explanation here that when you create the join and it's an inner join it'll only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal so where they both have to be equal the part numbers that's something that's common or that's between them it's an inner thing as opposed to something outer which is all records from the book project meaning hey we get everything from the book project and just only those records from the book sales where the join fields are equal so better yet let's go graphic on us here and I'm looking at the circles that I created thank you and these circles represents the tables so this could be the book project table and this one could be the book sales so this is an inner join that's an outer join so an inner where we have to have the part number fields be equal something in common between the two that's something in between them and any where an Audi says, I'm just going to take everything I want from my side, and if you got something common with me, well, you can come on over. So that's an outer join. So two different outer joins. You can have it from table A, where it includes everything here, or the book project table, as the example, and just include only those records where the part number matches up, or you can flip it over here and say, okay, just include everything from the book sales table, and only those records that match with the part numbers over into the book project table. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and leave it as an any here, the first one, and click okie dokie and let's take it for a test drive. Come up here, click on the view button. Do I get 2000 records? No, 82. Well, coincidentally, that's the same as the book sales table, right? Double click, 82. Let's go back to the query. Now just because that it has the same number as the book sales table doesn't mean that it's pulling in every book from the book project. Just only those part numbers where they match up. And so I could have extra books in the book project table that we haven't sold yet. You want to find out? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and go back to the design view and change this. Double click on it. The join properties to include all records from the book project table. So all that, even those that we haven't sold, if there are any that we haven't sold, but let's go ahead and find out. Click OK, and then click on the View button. Hey, there we go. So, because we've got blanks there, you can see we haven't sold any for working from home using your computer. You think you get more people interested in that. Maybe they like the commute. In any case, you can see we've got the total from the book project table. One, two, three, four, any more? Five, well, six, well... We got, looks like, quite a few that we haven't sold yet. So that includes everything from the book project table and only those where the part numbers match up from the book sales. And then, of course, we can go back to the design view and flip that. Now notice that it goes from just a line to an arrow. The end point of the arrow is where it has to equal. So the other, where it's the blunt point, that means it includes all, and then it comes down to a fine point that just says only those that are equal from this part number to the foreign key field in this case in the book sales table. When I double click and I flip that by going to three where I include everything from the sales table here and click okie dokie, that flips. So it's open ended here where it includes everything there, all the records, and then comes to a fine point where it only includes those part numbers that are equal to what it shows over in the book sales. So when I click on the view button, we get a total of 82 records because it only includes those books that we sold everything from it and only those that match over in the book project and because we've got books that haven't been sold the part number doesn't match up and so it's not being pulled here let's go ahead and go back to the design view and double click and let's go back to only include where they're joined between the two and click okie dokie because I would like to show you something let's go back to the view and we've got these books now as a side note or a spiffy or an extra bonus training video, I want to be able to show you how we can go ahead instead of seeing this duplicated many times, how about if we just see the book title once and then get a total of all the books sold. So I don't have to add it in my head here, 13 plus 14 plus 7, oh that's annoying. So let's go ahead and go back to the design view which, well, if I come down below on the status bar, if I'm down in that neck of the woods, click on that icon to go to the design view, that works. 
and then come up here on the design tab to the show height group and let's do totals. Now we covered this in an earlier training video so you want to watch that. Let's go ahead and select it and then down below it adds the total row as you recall where by default it wants to group. Well I don't want to group by part numbers so I want to get rid of that. Hover over the thin gray bar up at the top until I can see a black arrow pointing down. Click on it to select the entire column. Hit the delete key and it's gone. I don't want to group it by the order ID so we select that entire column, delete it, it's gone. And I don't want to group it by books sold but I want the total sum of the book titles after their group. So I need to change that from group to get the total sum. So we're grouping it by book title after it combines them all. Then it wants to add the total of those books for that book title into one cell here. So if I come up here, click on the view button, there we go. So for 101 pizza combinations, we could have sold that like several times. But the total for all the times that we sold it is 211. And we got cooking basics for children. Remember that? We sold that at least twice. And so it added that, plus any additional times that we sold that, it's right there. Oh, that's fun. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.